tell you the tale of the Maverick Queen, most dangerous woman the West ever seen. There was something about her since she was 16 that attracted the men to the Maverick Queen. The Maverick Queen, the Maverick Queen, she could steal. Something about her since she was 16 that attracted the men to the Maverick Queen. The little town of Stillwater toward the end of the last century at that time, it was thought that the outlaw flame which had seared the middle border since the end of the Civil War was almost extinguished. However, there were some who knew that the fire was not yet out. Well, glad to see you, Leo. How are you? Good. What's you doing? Relaxing after getting the weekly edition off the press. I see you're relaxing too, Jeff. Hi, Mr. Belong. Here's a copy of the rain. Well? Time for a snort. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Came in to see you about a story for your next edition. Good enough. Any news from your office always makes good reading. You know the youngest, of course. Yeah, sure. Cole and Jim, they're cousins of the Daltons. And their nephew, Jeff. Yeah, the same. It's Jeff I'm talking about. He's out of Stillwater today. His uncle's got 25 years. He's out in three. And uh, what will he be doing now? Oh, heading west, no doubt. There's no place else for the likes of him. California? Too tame, I'm thinking. He's a wild one. Maybe to Wyoming. Oh, to join the wild bunch? <laughs> Wouldn't you if you had his blood running in your veins? Oh, maybe I would. You know, there's always something missing in fellas like that. Yeah, missing all that's good. You know, the Wild Bunch is run by a big Irishman named Butch Cassidy. Oh. They have a string of outlaw ranches that stretch from Canada down to the Mexican border. Uh, the Irish, <laughs> they're a wild lot. Uh, only the black Irish, Pete. It's the Spanish blood in them that does it. Yeah, the Spanish blood, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Better get some sleep, Miss Lucy. We'll be in Rock Springs by tomorrow night. Nothing's gonna happen this close to town. I can't sleep. I suppose I shouldn't worry, but if we lose this herd. Don't worry. You'll sell them in Rock Springs, pay your debts, and you'll have money to spare. I guess I better get some sleep. Keep the fire going and see if the Nighthawk stays awake. Nothing's gonna happen. What do you want? I'm sorry to start you. I saw your fire looking for a place to light. We don't like strangers here. This is lawless country. What's your name? Jeff Young. I'm no rustler, unless it's for food. Been a long day in the saddle. She'll appreciate a handout. Hold my gun if you want to. All right, you can stay. I'm Lucy Lee. This is Jamie. He's our cook. Happy to know you. There's stew on the pot. Put your horse with the other horses. There's water there. 
Help yourself to the grain. Much obliged. You didn't want to be inhospitable, but you have to be awfully careful around here. The Wild Bunch has made hash of this country. That's all right. I've heard about the Wild Bunch. Headquarter around here, eh? All in the wall. In the Powder River country. Nobody knows rightly where it is. Kettle Russes? Hand bank robbers, train stick-ups, ranches, stagecoaches, nothing safe. Better sleep fast. We move at dawn. Thanks. I'll be ready. Night. Muncie, see you's in those two wagons. Well. The wild bunch. What do you want? Lady, we're in the same business you are. Selling cattle. You're cattle. You must be Butch Cassidy. Oh, no. Sort of his right-hand man, you might say. Call me Sundance. Sundance. How colorful. You know, you're kind of colorful yourself. Come here. All of you, reach. Keep your hands clear. Drop your guns. Pick him up, put him in the wagon. All right, now ride. You remember this outfit? I said ride. Saddle up. Dawn will be breaking in half an hour. There's no need to rush, Miss Lucy. That gang can't get no more guns short of the hole. Or Rock Springs, maybe, and have them meet us again tomorrow night. Well, come on, move. 